started when I was 20, 21, when I moved to the Gold Coast, lived there for a year, hung out with my uncle who makes boards, he's been a glasser for 25 odd years. After I lived on the Gold Coast, I moved back here and kept shaping. Last summer, I met Roger Hall, who is a bit of an icon in New Zealand for shaping and pioneering the way. We ended up having a really good conversation about how just because some things are different doesn't mean they're wrong. He had some heartwarming messages to me that have stuck. I kind of look back and remember what he said. He inspired me and I'm really glad that we crossed paths at that time because I was going through a little bit of a struggle where I didn't feel like continuing making boards, especially being a girl. and. He's been through similar situations where people have laughed at him and not ordered boards off him for years. I've been in a car park before at a beach with a friend who's, you know, gonna surf their board that I'd made them for the first time. Someone in the car park come up and ask who shaped the board and who made him the board and you know he's obviously gone to point to me because I'm the one that's made it. And I've kind of been laughed at and joked around as if I wasn't the person that made the board. My friend shut him down pretty quickly and kind of said that it's not something to laugh about and she's legitimate, she is doing this full time. That was a turning point for me. That was really encouraging that someone was going to stand up for me. You get looked at enough from just being a girl surfer in the car park, so to be looked at and stared at as like a girl surfer that also shapes is super intimidating. It's if you don't have any other girls around you, you definitely feel a little bit alone. But I also have a really good support crew that love my boards and back me and that's more than enough that gets me through. Social media is also great in the sense that there are other girls in my position, even if they are halfway around the world, that's sort of more than enough to like push you through. A lot of people in the area make really high performance short boards and I've never really been into surfing those kinds of boards. I've had to stay true to myself. I do make quite a lot of alternative surfboards and some people that's just not their cup of tea. Do what you think is right for you and try not to conform to something that you don't feel is you. It's really easy to fall into a stereotype of one certain board. I've had my best surfs on all sorts of different boards. Just because someone's making one board doesn't mean that you need to go and copy them or do anything like that. You need to follow your own path. The process of shaping has taught me that good things take a lot of time and you can't rush something. In terms of glassing, the glassing process has taught me to be really, really accurate because there's so much room for error in laminating. The fact that I am a girl can hinder how many guys come to me and place orders, but I would really like to be someone that can kind of break down that stereotype and have guys come to me that feel comfortable, that want to talk about it. I think that'd be a huge step in the right direction in terms of getting people to feel a bit more comfortable with chicks that shape or chicks that glass. Seeing someone get stoked on something I've made for the first time is pretty special. It's kind of heartwarming, but it is also motivating to try and get people, different people, to feel that as well. It makes me happy to see them happy and get them stoked. It kind of makes me feel a little bit invincible, like a lot of people have told me in the past that I can't do it, and it's kind of just proof that you can do it despite what people say. Being humble and happy that you've shared like happiness with more than just one person. Yeah.